And I, uh, I've heard Chuck Chamberlain talk a number of times, and one thing he uh, almost always said at those meetings was that uh, there is no substitute for the meetings of Alcoholics Anonymous. And he probably repeated, say, there is no substitute for the meetings of Alcoholics Anonymous. So you're not going to phone it in, you're not going to mail it in, you're not going to fax it in, you're going to be there. <clears throat> and I can tell you that I've uh, been sober a long time, it's over 36 years, and there are times that uh, I've not really put the tenth step to work in my life, you know. I mean, a lot of my defects I thoroughly enjoy, you know. <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you, if you can, when you participate in the meetings, there will be somebody say something at a meeting just rings a bell with you. And it's always with me, it's either I'm doing something that I, that I should not be doing or I'm failing to do that something that I should. And it's bring, bought, bring, being brought back to reality by the people in the program of Alcoholics Anonymous that allows me to stay sober. Because I can tell you that there, there isn't another vehicle that I know about or have heard about or anything else. Take a man of my nature, the alcoholic nature, and having the disease of alcoholism and, and take me from where I was to where I'm at. Uh, there isn't, uh, there isn't one, and I'm sure that you realize that there isn't one for you either. But it's persistence in this program, because I can tell you that there's a lot of times that I, uh, have strayed from maybe the straight and narrow or whatever, either a financial or other transgressions. And it's only been Alcoholics Anonymous that permitted me to come back. But I can tell you that, uh, the, and when I, when I'm into doing things that I shouldn't be doing, it's gonna eat a hole in me. It's gonna, and it'll cause a cancer. And if I don't go back to those, to the meetings of Alcoholics Anonymous, if I don't continue to participate, and if I don't share my life, and et cetera, with uh, people in Alcoholics Anonymous, I'm gonna get to that uh, point of, uh, it was just desperation and be out there drinking again. And I can tell you, you know, I, uh, I, I stay active in Alcoholics Anonymous. I, uh, I know a lot of people up here. I know these, these guys here uh, very well.